put yourself positioned for an interstellar shocker, considering the way that, according to a social occasion of scientists, Betelgeuse, the enchanting red, very Goliath star decorating Orion's shoulder, has recently exploded. That's correct, you heard that right. We are completely serious. Within the accompanying ten years, or a few numerous years, its wonderful repercussions will illuminate the evening sky. But how did specialists show up at this conclusion? Should we be concerned? May the James Webb Space Telescope get the extras of insect juice? Today, we're diving deep into all the latest details. Potentially, one of the most perceptible stars in the night sky in the Northern Hemisphere during winter is the red supergiant star Betelgeuse. It's among the small handful of stars that shine brightly enough that we can actually find it. Its ruddy orange tone with the unaided eye makes Betelgeuse, for the most part, the tenth brightest star in the night sky. Anyway, as you may already know, it's forever been known to shift in brilliance. Part of the justification for this is that Betelgeuse is in no way, shape, or form your typical star because of its tremendous size. On the off chance that we were somehow able to replace insect juice with our own little sun, it would stretch all the way to the asteroid belt and have a mass of a bewildering number of times that of the sun. It may come as a shock, but Betelgeuse is very young for a star with an age estimated to be around 8 to 10 million years. In comparison, our own sun is much more settled, with a normal age of around 4.6 billion years. This is because very massive stars like Betelgeuse burn through their nuclear fuel quickly and go supernova relatively fast on a geological timescale. This also means they evolve rapidly, and Betelgeuse may have actually done that right before humanity's eyes. To sort out how analysts showed up at the conclusion that Betelgeuse had recently exploded, it's essential to dive into the context. The story begins around the 2nd century BC, when Chinese cosmologists mentioned an observable fact that insect juice showed a specific yellow color. Fast forward to the middle of the 2nd century AD, and the Greek astronomer Tycho Brahe described it as orangish or ruddy, much like how it appears today. Similarly, ancient onlookers in the Middle East saw almost identical shades. The question arises about how colors were named or found in the past. However, for this case, there is a genuine chance that Betelgeuse went through a color change within a few hundred years. It's possible that Chinese cosmologists knew Betelgeuse during its yellow supergiant stage, and over the course of years and years, it evolved into the red supergiant stage. Given that humans, by our nature, are night sky watchers, you need to ponder how many people across the globe could see the star and notice the change, yet left no records. After all, changes to a star like that likely came with a range of dimming and illuminating events that weren't recorded. Imagine people gazing toward the night sky and saying, Hey, didn't that star used to be more brilliant? That's exactly what's been happening. Right now, Betelgeuse is a variable star. Anyway, it appears to conform to some cyclic behavior. Starting in December 2019, Betelgeuse's brightness unusually plunged which was obviously perceptible to the unaided eye. For those used to checking out the star, it was not its normal self until mid-2020. Over time, it recovered, and one theory was that some of these cycles had fit making for such a deep dive in brightness. However, the observations made by the Hubble Space Telescope showed something quite specific. It appeared that Betelgeuse had expelled a massive amount of burning material into space, forming a huge dust cloud. This dust cloud, in turn, darkened an enormous portion of the star's light. From our viewpoint, the change was stunning. Betelgeuse, once considered among the ten brightest stars in the night sky, dimmed to the point where it was positioned lower than the twentieth brightest. It was truly confounding to notice its dimness, in contrast with its neighboring star, Aldebaran, which holds the fourteenth position in brightness. Luckily, Betelgeuse showed signs of improvement. However, its unusual behavior didn't stop there. In fact, it is now exhibiting a state far stranger than simple dimming. Over recent months, Betelgeuse has undergone a profound increase in brightness, exceeding its ordinary brilliance by a stunning amount. Part of this surprising situation is very troublesome for a star known for its changes. The dimming events could be caused by dust or matching cycles, or maybe the star developed huge sunspots. At any rate, a sudden increase in brightness is something entirely different. Even though it might be related to the previous event when Betelgeuse expelled material in late 2019, it likely caused a significant disturbance in the star's plasma flow. 
the current behavior we notice could be considered a delayed consequence of that release. But what lies behind this uncommon behavior, surpassing the star's usual variances? One moderate hypothesis that has been widely discussed is that Betelgeuse is approaching the supernova stage. While moderate estimates still suggest that the star is several years away from its eventual supernova event, we will provide evidence to explore this idea and show that it may have already happened. So, what is the evidence? According to a recent scientific paper by Hideyuki and colleagues from Tohoku University in Japan, Betelgeuse has already gone through a supernova explosion, and we may be seeing the repercussions of this dramatic event within the next 10 years or so. Yes, that's right. Amazing as it sounds, the last noted supernova in our galaxy was the Kepler supernova, which occurred as far back as the 1600s, through an intensive evaluation of Betelgeuse's variability patterns. The experts have identified four distinct periodic changes occurring at time intervals of 2,200, 420, 230, and 85 days. While the origin of the longest period remains unclear, it is estimated to be the primary period with the shorter intervals possibly serving as clues. The experts propose a model suggesting that Betelgeuse is in the late stages of carbon burning, implying that it may be nearing a colossal explosion, positioning it as an outstanding candidate for the next anticipated supernova event within our Milky Way galaxy. Regarding unraveling the mystery surrounding Betelgeuse, there's a bit of a puzzle. You see, there are some conflicting observations regarding the launch of materials and the star's subsequent recovery. The general consensus leans toward a mass ejection event, something not out of the realm of possibility for various types of stars, though on a smaller scale compared to our own Sunday. Yet here's the twist. Supernovae are a real phenomenon too. We actually saw one in a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way back in 1987. So, while it's possible that our estimates for Betelgeuse's supernova timing could be off, don't go planning a trip around it just yet. Now, the interesting part is that Betelgeuse is currently intriguing to note. It has slipped behind the sun and won't be visible in the night sky until at least August. Hence, we're left in the dark about what this mysterious star is up to right now. What we cannot deny is that it's kicking its usual patterns by lighting up. Here's an interesting thing. Betelgeuse's gigantic size and relatively close proximity, about 650 light-years away, allow us to determine a lot. In fact, while observing it, most stars are just too far away, appearing as simple points of light. But with Betelgeuse, we have a unique opportunity to capture direct variations in its light output through photography. So, we not only have a star that might actually go supernova, but also a wealth of data to gather, including pictures, though they may be a bit cloudy. Let's imagine the scenario where Betelgeuse has indeed gone supernova. How should it look? Well, it will be a real showcase. But don't worry. It's totally safe for us here on Earth. You see, Betelgeuse is far enough away that it won't actually hurt our planet when it goes supernova. However, it won't be the brightest object above us. The moon will still dominate by a wide margin, and we shouldn't forget the sun. Still, it would cast its own shadows at night and remain visible during the day for about a year. Now, here's the intriguing part. The supernova would be observable around the evening for several months, continually dimming there might be a brief period where it regains some of its previous brightness. However, eventually, it will continue to fade until the prominent shoulder star in the constellation Orion evaporates completely. While this supernova won't pose any threat to us, it could cause some confusion. After all, some animals rely on starlight for navigation, and with an extra bright light overhead casting shadows, they might lose their way a bit. But that's not all. Cosmology itself would face some challenges. Observing the night sky from Earth, during times when the moon is shining brightly, can already be a bit tricky. An exceptionally bright supernova would only complicate matters further. Many telescopes would likely be more excited about capturing the supernova's glory than anything else, even if it means altering their observations. Additionally, there would be some warning signs prior to the visible impact like detecting neutrinos and gravitational waves from the star. Now, here's the key question. If Betelgeuse has already gone supernova, could we capture the remnants? For that, we need to wait for the James Webb Space Telescope to detect the supernova's remains. So, how long might it take for Betelgeuse to go supernova? We're not entirely certain, but it could happen next week, next year, or in 100,000 years. 
In galactic terms, that's essentially now. Keep in mind that the light we see from this star is very old. And if it exploded long ago, we wouldn't even know about it yet. What do you think? Might Betelgeuse have already gone supernova? Or is it just showing some strange changes? Let us know in the comments. The James Webb Space Telescope is clearly the best tool for making these observations. We shouldn't have to wait long before it solves the mystery. Besides, for all the work to understand Betelgeuse's behavior and its implications for stellar evolution, it involves a complex system combining observational cosmology, theoretical modeling, and historical context. This star, famous for its variability and massive size, provides a captivating opportunity for cosmologists to study the life cycle of supergiant stars and the phenomena leading up to supernovae. It's critical, first and foremost, to grasp the importance of supernovae in the broader context of stellar evolution. A supernova isn't just a huge event. It's a key process in the life cycle of stars. These events play a crucial role in dispersing heavy elements throughout the universe. These elements, forged in the cores of massive stars, become part of the interstellar medium and contribute to the formation of new stars and planetary systems. Thus, the study of Betelgeuse and similar stars matters. It helps cosmologists understand the chemical enrichment of the galaxy and the processes driving stellar evolution. Betelgeuse's looming or ongoing supernova event would mark a pivotal moment in this stellar life cycle. Researchers are especially interested in the processes that govern the transition from a massive star's final stages to its explosion. Current models suggest that as truly massive stars like Betelgeuse approach the end of their lives, they undergo a series of complex processes, including core collapse and the expulsion of outer layers. These stages are characterized by significant mass loss, which can affect the star's brightness and variability. By observing Betelgeuse's changes, scientists can gain insights into these processes and refine their models of stellar evolution. Furthermore, the historical records of Betelgeuse's brightness variations and its documented color changes offer important clues about its past states. Ancient astronomers' observations, limited by the technology of their time, have provided a framework for examining modern data. The shift from a yellow hue to a reddish-orange tint over centuries could reflect the star's internal changes and its movement toward a supernova. This historical perspective enhances our understanding of how massive stars evolve and how their life cycles affect their surrounding environments. The potential for Betelgeuse to become a supernova also intersects with our understanding of cosmic events on a larger scale. For example, the study of supernovae helps astronomers categorize the conditions leading to different types of explosions, such as Type I and Type II supernovae. Type I supernovae are typically the result of nuclear explosions in binary star systems, while Type II supernovae, like those expected from Betelgeuse, result from core collapse in massive stars. Understanding the differences between these events can help researchers unravel the history of our galaxy and the frequency of such occurrences. Observational challenges, such as Betelgeuse's current position behind the Sun, highlight the complexities involved in studying such dynamic celestial objects. Nevertheless, astronomers employ various methods to monitor stars that are temporarily obscured. They use space-based observatories and specialized telescopes to track the star's light curves and analyze its spectral data. These techniques provide vital information about the star's composition, temperature, and potential for a supernova. Additionally, theoretical approaches, including the use of computational models, play a crucial role in predicting and understanding supernova events. Researchers create simulations that incorporate current observations, historical data, and theoretical physics to predict how a star like Betelgeuse might behave. These models assist in forecasting the timing and characteristics of the supernova, offering insights into what observers might expect and how the explosion will affect the surrounding space. The implications of a supernova from Betelgeuse extend beyond the realm of cosmology. For instance, a supernova of this magnitude would enhance our understanding of cosmic radiation and its effects on Earth. While Betelgeuse's distance ensures that it poses no threat to our planet, the study of supernovae improves our knowledge of cosmic rays and their interactions with Earth's atmosphere. This information is essential for understanding space weather and its potential impact on satellite operations and communication systems. Ultimately, 
the possible discovery of Betelgeuse's supernova remains a source of excitement and interest within the scientific community. The event wouldn't only advance our understanding of stellar life cycles, but also capture the public's imagination. The dramatic visual display of such an explosion, visible for months or even years, would undoubtedly inspire a new generation of astronomers and space enthusiasts. Public interest in cosmic events often fuels educational efforts and promotes scientific literacy, emphasizing the importance of continued investment in space exploration and research. In conclusion, the potential supernova of Betelgeuse represents a significant milestone in our understanding of stellar evolution and cosmic events. Ongoing observations and theoretical work surrounding the star contribute to a broader understanding of the universe's workings. As we await further data from the James Webb Space Telescope and other observatories, the study of Betelgeuse continues to provide valuable insights into the dynamic processes that govern massive stars and their ultimate fate. Whether Betelgeuse has already exploded or is nearing that dramatic event, its story highlights the ever-evolving nature of our exploration of the universe and the relentless pursuit to unveil its secrets.